Hey guys, it's Ryan from the Melbourne Centre of Healing here. Wow, feels like a while since I've done a video. Enough time to grow a bit of bum fluff on my face. Um, so I haven't uh, posted any videos in the last few weeks because I've actually been in hospital uh, with, a, with a few health issues. And I want to do a quick video on that because, you know, I had some pretty dark moments and some pretty low times and I wanted to share uh, just how I coped and, and how I got through that, you know, in the best way that I knew how. So, um, you know, I want to do it now because, you know, as time goes, the memory fades and we tend to forget certain things. So, uh, about three weeks ago, I had a flare up of my Crohn's disease, which is a digestive disorder, um, which had been dormant for like three years or so. So, a completely random flare up. I uh, had some internal bleeding, um, blood transfusions couple of weeks in hospital, uh, hoses and cameras in places, hoses and cameras should never go. <laughs> and, um, you know, I was in a, a pretty, pretty low point. I was uh, bedridden in hospital, uh, just on a saline drip. I couldn't have anything to eat, not even any fluids. Um, so I've lost quite a bit of weight. Um, and what happens when you're in that kind of pain, uh, in that kind of trauma, your shadows come up your deepest, darkest shadows. And these shadows are the parts of ourselves that we want to run, want to run away from. And, you know, I had some pretty intense stuff come up for me while I was laying in that hospital bed. You know, things like, what's the point of all this? What's the fucking point of life when you can just be put in this situation at the drop of a hat? Why try and do the right thing when, when this bullshit can happen? This is stuff that comes up, right? At one point, probably when I was at my lowest, and I even had a shadow that came up that said, when you get out of here, just go back to being a drug addict. It's fucking easier than this bullshit. Pretty dark, right? But these are our shadows. You know, we've all got them, everyone. So what I did in that time to get through those shadows, and I mean, for me, see, I was just in pain for a couple of weeks. Now, Emotional pain and physical pain lights up the same area of the brain. Pain is pain. So I just had a couple of weeks in hospital with, with some stomach issues. I can only imagine the shadows that come up for people that have been suffering with deep depression for years. I can only imagine. And I have even a new level of empathy for those people now after going through that. So what happens when these shadows come up? Because what happens, I did a couple of things and what we wouldn't do, we initially want to run away from these shadows because we hear these voices come in and they come from this really dark place. And sometimes what they say is so dark and so vile that we immediately want to dismiss them and get away from them as quickly as possible. Uh, what I did was the opposite because those parts of us that are the darkest, so to speak, like any part of us that's hurting, it just wants to be loved. So instead of trying to run away from it, whenever a shadow came up and said something to me, something as crazy as go back to being a drug addict. Can you imagine? When that come up, instead of trying to run away from that, I would simply say to that part, it's okay, I love you. When the thought came up, what's the point of this fucking life? What's the point of doing the right thing? It's okay. I love you because all those parts of us that are uh, hurting, they just want to be loved. It always comes back to just wanting to be loved. And those shadows that are the so-called darkest and the most vile are the ones that need love the most. So whenever a shadow came up, I would tell them that I love it. And the second thing I would do was, was ask a couple of questions. Whenever I'm going through any kind of dark night or rough period, I always ask these questions and it always seems to help. So it was interesting to test this out when I was at one of my lowest points. And I would just say to myself, what's on the other side of this? Who am I about to become? What's on the other side of this? Who am I about to become? And it would really give me some inner strength. You know, when I felt like I didn't have any left, there'd be a bit of inner strength that would come up. Because you see, every challenge that I faced in my life and got past, I've gone to a new state of being, a new state of consciousness that's been better than before. There's been more strength there. So understanding that everything's impermanent and that by getting past the challenge, things are gonna become greater than they've ever been, 
asking those questions just does something to your heart. I don't know what it is, <laughs> but it just gives that bit of strength in your heart that you can get through something. That's what I need to get through my shadows and it's something that I would love you guys to try if you have those shadows coming up. Remember, those parts, those thoughts that come up that are the most disgusting, they need love the most. And always remember, every challenge that is given to us in our life is given to us by a part of us that loves us so much that it's giving us that challenge uh, and is designing that challenge in our life for us to wake up and go to a new state of being. So, it's good to be back doing a video. I'm actually officially back in the office next week. Um, it's good to be out of hospital. Um, I am feeling like I've gone to a new state of being. I'm feeling slightly more manly with the beard, so that might add to it as well. Um, you're gonna be hearing a lot more from me uh, in the coming weeks, guys. And yeah, much love to you all. Peace out.